Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create a DynamoDB table using AWS command line interface. So this is an AWS account and in this account, if you see, there are no DynamoDB tables. So first we will create a DynamoDB table using AWS console and the same table we will create using AWS command line interface. So let's create a table, just click on create table, just give a table name as student then give a partition key as student underscore name and keep it is a string and sort key as subject underscore name keep it a string and let's keep all the default settings so default set this default settings includes the read capacity and write capacity and we will add a tag just enter key 1 and value as value 1 and just click on create table so we have given table name partition key sort key and we have given tags let's create a table so if you see the table named student got created let's go to the command line interface let's go to the terminal and just we have already discussed in the previous videos how to list the DynamoDB tables. Just type AWS DynamoDB and list tables. So here we have got the table names, what all table names this account has. So that is student. So here if you see that by def we have given the default settings. So the read capacity mode and write capacity is 5 and 5 and if you check the additional info or additional settings you will find the tags the tag is key one value one so what we will do is we will delete this table and just try to create the same table using AWS command line interface just click on delete type delete and delete table so the table got deleted and if you check again the list tables you will see there are no tables now now what we will do is we will write a command to create the table so the command to create a table goes like this AWS DynamoDB what we need to do we need to create a table just enter create table so just give this slash operator so that we can continue the command in the new line so first we need to provide what is the table name just just give enter hyphen hyphen and just enter table name give space and give the table name then again enter this slash here just give student just enter and continue the command now we need to mention some attributes of the table to create it as a partition key or a sort key so by default at least some partition key column sort key column it should have so we need to enter attribute definitions and this is the list of attribute definitions we can enter the name of the attribute and the data type whether it is a string or integer so we will need to enter like this attribute name equal to student underscore name comma and what is the attribute type in our case it is string so we will keep yes and we have also one more attribute just give space and enter same thing again attribute name equal to subject name attribute name equal subject name comma attribute type equal to yes now we have given attribute definitions now we need to mention which attribute is a partition key and which attribute is a sort key we call partition key as a hash key 
and sort key as a range key so just again enter hyphen hyphen key schema just enter what we need to enter key schema and here this is also list of attributes like we need to mention what is the attribute name and what is its uh, key type whether it is a hash key and a sort key just again enter attribute name equal to student underscore name and mention its key type key type equal to hash it means we are saying this student name is a partition key so in the same way let's enter one more attribute name subject underscore name and mention its key type as range range means it is a sort key now we have entered almost all the required things table name attribute definitions and key schema attribute name we have mentioned what is partition key and what is sort key so now we need to mention what type of table it is whether it is on demand table or we need to set some default settings so in the whenever we create a table we kept default settings in that it is having the read capacity units and write capacity units so we need to provide that provisioned provision throughput and here we need to mention read capacity units equal to 5 or 10 comma write capacity units we'll mention it as a 10 now that we have mentioned the table is provisioned we need to create again tags just enter tags and we can give the list of tags just enter key and value key equal to key 1 value equal to value 1 we can enter one more tag also key equal to key 2 value equal to value 2 so I hope almost everything we entered but if we check here attribute definitions the spelling is wrong so this command may fail just try to enter and see so if you see as observed it didn't it's saying is unknown so let's correct it just enter up arrow so that we will get the same command so when we click the up arrow it is not coming as a formatted one it is coming as a single line so that is why we entered the this character and entering everything separately so here as is coming as a single line let's go to that spelling and let's change it to definitions so attribute definitions we need to enter t here and just enter it should create a table so it has successfully created a table and given the table description table name this attribute name one more attribute name table name key schema which is the hash key which is the range key and that status is the table is getting created now creation date time and we have given write capacity 10 read capacity 5 and this table ARN let's go to the AWS account and check the table let's refresh it so if you see the student table got created with read capacity 5 and write capacity 10 and if you want to check the tags we can go to student and go to the additional settings just scroll down and you can see the tags key 1 value 1 key 2 value 2 so this capacity mode is provisioned and table capacity matrix here we have kept 10 read read is 5 so this is how we will create a DynamoDB table using 
uh, AWS command line interface. I hope you like this video and understood the command. Please like, share and subscribe my channel and also share to your friends. Thank you for watching.